Hi, I hope you're good. In today's class, we're gonna be doing a warrior sequence. So less worrying about stuff. And this is the time to get your warrior on and feel really good and strong from the inside and out. And I don't know about you, but when I came into a yoga practice, like starting it from the very beginning, I came into it from a place of pain, um, a place of fear and insecurity. I, my circumstances was not great at all. So when I started doing postures that made me feel like I was worthy and strong, it really translated in my day-to-day -day life as well. Everything that I was doing on my mat had a purpose and was serving me for not just when I was on the mat doing yoga, but for my entire life. So whenever you're ready, get yourself some water and let's get started on our yoga mat. You're gonna start off on all fours where you've got shoulders above wrists and hips stacked above knees. Tuck the toes underneath and lift up into downward facing dog. Roll the shoulders away from the ears and take a nice walk on the spot, alternating between bending and straightening out the legs. Push away your yoga mat, let your neck be nice and long. Try not to look up in this pose. And then from here, you're gonna walk the feet towards the back going into plank pose. So remember to modify where need be. It could be that your knees are on the floor, that you're down onto the forearms instead. But wherever you are, make sure you connect with your core, navel to spine, lengthen your tailbone towards the heels. From here, we're gonna go into Chaturanga Dandasana next. If you're like me in plank, you'll be able to push from the toes, bend the elbows down, and then an extra little push to get you up into Cobra pose. Roll the shoulders away, lift the chin, chest and heart and set the feet deep into the earth. Push back into downward facing dog and you're gonna do that again. So walk the feet towards the back plank, Chaturanga Dandasana down, extra push, Cobra rising. Don't crunch into that lower back, it's not worth it. Again, push back into downward facing dog, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana down, extra little push, cobra rising. Now this cobra, I want you to soften the elbows more, look over your left shoulder. Come back up, soften the elbows over the right. Back to centre, push the bum back, downward facing dog. From here, come up really high onto the balls of the feet, start walking the feet forwards towards the hands. Forward fold. Hold on to the backs of the legs maybe, it could be the ankles even. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Lean a bit of weight back into the heels and then weight coming forwards into the balls of the feet and into the tippy toes. Close the eyes. Let your neck get nice and long. Your buttocks lifting high up towards the sky. Then reopen the eyes, hands to shins and push away from the legs, lifting up halfway. On your exhale, forward fold back down. Again, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhaling to forward fold. Now you can take the root of where you bend the knees and drop the arms, if you've been in videos, with, in classes or done videos with me before. But this one's gonna change slightly. We're gonna position, hands to hips. Hook your two fingers there into the hips and push the hips away as you lift your chest and heart up. Really try and control this via your core and your lower back staying nice and strong. And then from here, carry on with your breathing, but you're gonna rise up to standing. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the heels. Inhale, reach the hands up. And bring the hands to come down to prayer. So you wanna find yourself in Tadasana, so make sure the feet are hip distance. Like I said, lengthen the tailbone down, roll the shoulders back and away, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach the hands up towards the sky. On your exhale, forward fold down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhaling to forward fold. Bend through the knees and step back with that left foot going into low lunge and rise up, either hands to hips or straight up into crescent. Once you're here, lift your hips up a little bit again and pivot the back heel down. See if you can bring both hands or chest and heart, I should say, to face forwards as you re-bend into the front knee. Press down through the knife edge of the back foot. And I heard this from a teacher the other day, and if I'm the same with this one, I feel like it's impossible for me to get my chest and heart facing forward. So it feels better for my chest and heart to face kind of the same direction as my hips. 
And I heard the teacher say, that's okay. And I was like, you know what? That you're right. That is okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So if you're the same, you're struggling to get that chest forwards, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. And then whenever you're ready, now open up into warrior two. So from here, the arms go into a T-shape. All right. See if you can sink down into it a little bit lower. And again, chest and heart follows the same direction as the hips, and that's okay. <laughs> See if you can go just a little bit lower into this power stance here. And whenever you're ready, couple the hands down towards the earth, pivots here on the toes. You can do this like step in halfway and then kick up, but I want you to play around with that kick up from here. So lift that back foot off the floor up towards the sky and then step it forward into forward fold. Have a plan. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold down. Bend through the knee, step back with the right foot. Feet hip distance, crescent lunge. But then turn it into warrior one. So lift the hips up, pivot the back heel down. Let the front knee still track the toes and try and get your chest and heart to face forwards as best as you can. It's hard because the back heel is pivoted and therefore your hip is open. Then change it into warrior two. Spread, split the hands into that T shape. Shoulders move away from the ears sink down into it. Straighten out that back leg for me. Sink down just a little bit deeper. Good. Take another breath. And then cuddle the hands down, pivot and see if you can lift and kick that back leg up towards the sky and lower it down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold. Bend through the knees, press the hands down, step back into downward facing dog. From here, lift that left leg up towards the sky into downward dog split. Come up onto the ball of the standing foot, standing leg. Remember not to seesaw your shoulder, so pick up that right shoulder just a little bit for me. And then switch sides. Right leg lifting up towards the sky and come up onto the ball of the left foot. Lift up through that left shoulder and armpit for me now. And then slowly lower down from here, back into downward dog. Walk the feet towards the back, going into plank. Chaturanga Nandasana down, Cobra rising, or even an upward facing dog if you prefer. Downward facing dog. So we're gonna be taking right leg up towards the sky and step that foot forward into low lunge, as many shuffles as it takes. Rise up into your crescent and then from here pivot the back heel down, split the hands into warrior two. So once you're here you're going to be playing a bit of tug of war here and when you're moving backwards and forwards I want you to try and isolate that midsection, that core. Keep the legs as they are. So when you're doing this, you can really feel the core having to fire up and work hard. Then you're going to reach forward and either elbow to thigh or right hand all the way down, left arm either up towards the sky or overhead. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. <laughs> Roll the roots towards the back. So don't reach forward. Roll the shoulders to stack on top of one another. And you want to feel like you're kind of leaning into this back thigh just a tad. Good. From here, take that left hand down, pivot so you're on the ball of the back foot, and reach right hand up towards the scalp. Sink down into the hips for me. From here, come down and back into downward dog split, right leg lifting up towards the sky. Switch the legs. Left foot comes forwards, up into crescent. Warrior two, tug of war. Okay, so just careful. You're not kind of moving via the legs. Keep the legs as they are. Isolate it in the core, navel to spine. All right, and then you're gonna lean forward, elbow to thigh reach over or slide the hand down on the inside of that left leg 
reach the right arm up and overhead. Sink down into your lunge, so don't have your bum high, bend that front knee and press into the knife edge of the back foot. Don't collapse onto the inside of the foot. Switch arms, right hand down. Pivots here on the back, uh, ball of the back foot. Left hand up towards the sky. Bend into the front knee. Expand and push into the back heel. It's not a lot to work on, just a few things. And then from here, slowly come down. Both hands shoulder width apart and push back into downward dog split. Left leg reaching up towards the sky. And lower the foot down, nice job. So from here, you're gonna be lifting right leg up towards the sky into downward dog split. Take it into a scorpion bend and bring your heel towards your backside. Start taking this right knee out towards that right hand side, crease deeply through that right hip. Now straighten out your right leg out towards the side. Try not to lean your weight all on that left side, so press down firmly through the right hand as well. Then from here, come back into that downward dog split, right leg lifting, and you're gonna do a switcheroo change sides. Lift that left leg up towards the sky. Good. Heel towards back side. Scorpion bend. Then bring the knee out towards that left hand side. So you feel like you're trying to lift it towards your shoulder even though it's miles away. Like a dog having a wee. <laughs> and then play around with extending the leg out towards that left hand side. And push. So you're trying to reach and flick that TV remote closer to you. That's how it feels. <laughs> okay. And then from here, kick it back up into downward dog split, lowering the foot down. From here, come up really high up onto the balls of the feet. You can bring the big toes to touch together. Gaze point is in between the palms of the hands. You can either step the feet forwards or kind of do a little hop there like I did. Coming forward here into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to forward fold down and either bend the knees around the spine to come up to standing or Fingertips come up towards the hips, inhale, lift up, chest and heart lifting, rising up, lengthen the tailbone down, roll the shoulders back, reach the hands up, bring the hands to come down to prayer. Warrior three is next, so I'm going to take this kind of somewhere in the middle of my yoga mat, you might even want to use a prop um, somewhere in front of you, I wouldn't stand directly in front of it, I'd kind of stand a good distance away so that way when you come into your pose and you're here you can use um, the hands onto your wall or your sofa if you want to or you can freestyle it like I am today. Feet hip distance apart we're going to come into it via um, chair pose okay so feet hip distance come down into chair pose or thunderbolt some people call it um, kind of like a high squat so make sure your knees are tracking your toes, that you're pushing more, pressing more weight into the heels and pulling your knees and your shins back. Can you see how the body is angled over the thighs? I'm not kind of tipping the hips forwards. Oh, if I can find my balance. I typically kind of clasp the hands with this one, but you can do whatever you want with the arms here. Roll the shoulders back and away. Now, from here, I'm going to shift a little bit of weight over towards my right hand side, bring the left heel towards the back side. Then I'm going to start moving chest and heart forward. You can see how the weight changes. After I've done that, then I'm going to free up this left leg behind me. So don't open up your hip. This will spin you to the side. Try and keep your hips square just like your shoulders in your original position. Then bring the knee in, change sides. Shift a bit of weight. Bring the heel towards back side, the right leg. And then, of course, angle chest and heart down. Then I would free up that right leg and really energize through the right glute as you reach through the heel or through the toes. And then from here you can change sides. Lowering down, shift just a tiny bit of weight, angle chest and heart forwards, and then free it up. Then you can start tidying up your pose, like lifting up through the belly more, the chest, maybe straightening out through the standing leg, maybe even reaching the hands forwards. So just bear that in mind, sorry, I'm gonna come out. Just bear that in mind, you don't have to polish up the pose straight away. It can just be a nice work in progress for you, okay? So I'm gonna go over toward the other side now. Down, into my chair pose, right heel towards the back side. 
chest and heart moves forwards, free up the leg, okay? See if I can straighten that leg. Some days I can, some days I can't. It depends. I've had um, injuries here with hamstrings, attachment tissue, knee, and then maybe reaching the hands. <laughs> and I think that's so important to be able to see as well is that everybody has a different body and different things that they're working with. Um, I'm not going to edit stuff like that out, the wobbles and the shakes, because that is all true and realistic and when, what we see on social media or yoga videos we don't know how many takes it took for that person to display and edit what they're showing you okay so if you can do it in one take that's fantastic but for many of us <laughs> and myself sometimes it goes really well other times it doesn't and i which i think i appreciate that honesty and i hope you guys do too i really hope you enjoyed that flow maybe you're going over to another one i've got a slow down and stretch out one if you fancy changing the pace um, that's also here on my youtube and over on namas yoga uh, my website and i'll see you next time on the yoga mat let me know how you got on with that one and i'll see you soon bye <laughs>